So let's see how this code works and then we will explain it. Let's launch it and here is what we get a nice little map. Let's see how to do it. So today we're going to talk about uh, uh, our Pygame leader platform game and uh, you see that from this video on we want to go in details on how to build this game and explaining and cleaning the code so that you can have a uh, a really nice idea of how to make this and first of all we're gonna start from the map so something nice visual and easy to do and more very important for the game of course because you have to create the map and so first of all I wanna uh, say that um, I made this video uh, following the tutorial of the fluffy potato that I invite you to take a look at and he made uh, really nice stuff about a platform games made with Python and you saw there are, you see um, you know that there are n not many videos about making games with Python because uh, you know C++ uh, is considered to be faster and it maybe uh, and it is faster but you know Python is uh, very um, easy to use and easy to understand and maybe uh, it's nice to understand how to make a game into this language and so um, I made I will make this uh, this video to explain you in details how to make them so first of all how we can make this we we can do uh, the same thing in many ways. We will follow this way of using tiles and uh, it means that every um, this map is made of um, squares uh, of six, uh, 16 for 16 uh, pixel and, um, and they are aligned here in this way. How we made it? Uh, we made it with this map here uh, of characters. This is a multi-line string as you can see here uh, we got this uh, triple apostrophes at the start and the, and the end and in the middle you can uh, create a multi-line strings so that each one of these uh, characters represent one of these tiles here and so um, how it happens, how it works. We design, we create the, a map like this Mm, and then we this multiline is divided into a list of of strings so this is just one big string let's say so uh, that can go to a new line with no problem uh, because of these three apostrophes and um, then I split it into um, a list of strings and each string contains one of these lines so that I can enumerate them and iterate through them and easily so that we can transform these characters into this uh, drawing here and so for example if I do for line in map1 one, map1 one is the variable that contains uh, these uh, multi-line strings that then becomes a list of string strings and so for each line so for each string here or characters uh, if I print it you will have something like let me see you where it is something like this okay mm, something like this and or well it, it's this practically uh, so this is uh, nothing important then you are going to um, let me show it closer okay so uh, after you have made this uh, this multi line of strings here and transform it, it into a um, a list of strings then we are going to create uh, 
the map like this. We are gonna I'm gonna create a function here uh, that iterates the map, each line of the map, and then iterates each character in the map. And uh, then for every character that I called C in this way, if the character is um, equal to W, so this, when he found W and not a space, he will mm, blit on the screen the tile, and the tile is, you can see here in this other function, is an image loaded with Pygame image from here where the tile is. This is the directory, a subdirectory, and the file is loaded into tile. So I am blitting here on the screen the tile. Mm, and uh, this is the position of the tile. So as this iterates, makes two iteration. Uh, one iteration of the lines of the of the map here that are the, the strings in the list correspond to the string of the list. So he will be zero, then one, two, three, etc. And then he will iterate for each one when he gets on the on this line he will iterate one zero, one, two, three, four, five characters for every character and in the end it will go to the next one, iterate each character. So for each character, if um, if he found that the character is equal to W, he will screen blit, he will blit, so he will um, make appear on the screen, on the display, that you see is this one. The screen has been defined always in this function in it display, and it uses pygame.display.set mode, and this is the width and the height, width and height of the of the screen that is has a, a width of 462 and a height of 256 and so uh, where he places it he places at uh, 1616 but at the very start he will place it at 00, zero that is up here instead here it's uh, uh, the farthest uh, bit, let's say so. The farthest pixel is uh, located at 462 on the x, on the width, and uh, 256 on the on the height, because the height goes from 0 to um, 256, and the width goes from 0 to 462. It always starts with the width. The first number is the width. The second number is the height. So uh, width and height. And at zero zero, when when the cycle starts, the x will be zero and the y will be zero. So zero for sixteen is zero and zero for sixteen is zero. So it will place the first tile here. When it goes to the second character here, we will find another tile. It will blit it. It will blit always the same tile, the same picture, and uh, that is the little the little brick uh, of 600 for 600. The X now is a little. This cycle here is one. Before it was zero. Now it's one. So one multiplied for 16 will be 16, 1 per 16, so it will place here, and the height is the same, so it will be at the same height, always at 0, because because the y is still 0, it's this outside loop that will go to 1, when this one will go uh, to the end. That means that um, the end is the number of characters let me see, I don't know how they are 24, let's say so. When it will be 24, when C will go to 24, it will um, go to the next line. So the, the Y will become 1 and so on. So this will place the all the, um, all the images, the tiles, 
uh, one after another at a distance of 16 pixels so that they are perfectly aligned like you can see in the in here you can see here this corresponds to a W, a W, a W here we got nothing and then etc and so um, okay you see here there is a space there are three bricks and so it goes like this and uh, now once we made this and this is creates all the map okay it creates it just one time and so let's go now into here after this um, for the moment the computer has done nothing it just created this uh, this variable split it it into this is not important we will not put it into the final release then we have this function but it doesn't f do it do nothing until we call it so we come here and it calls this function here that it's in its initialization of the of the game we also need to do pygame in it let me go in the actual I I didn't do the pi game in it there is always a good thing to do so let me pi game dot in it otherwise something will not work in in the pi game kind of in module and so then in its display will go into this and uh, we'll go into this one and go create the screen and, and load the tile after this we will create the while loop so the loop loop is a, a boolean variable fixed to one while the loop is equal to one so you don't need to put equal one here uh, because the loop is one and while while this is true practically uh, the screen uh, will fill to zero 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 it will be filled with black and then we will call the tiles function here we will pass to it the map the map is this so this string this list of string because it has been transformed to a list and then it will do what we explained before for each line and for each character in this line if a character is equal to W it will blit a tile so in the while loop it will continuously call this um, this map so that you it will be always visible this screen fill here makes it black it clears the screen then uh, makes you see the map this is useful when you want to something to move on the map like a player and the enemies of course now there are no player no enemies this is unuseful but will be useful uh, when we will uh, put a player into it and uh, for event on pygame.get so this pygame event.get will uh, listen to all the users inputs so uh, if the event type if the users quit the window so when the uh, the user does this thing here um, the loop will be zero so the while loop will stop because it's not one anymore it's zero and so we'll go outside and do the pygain quit here instead if you don't quit the window it will display update it will update the the window refresh the window so that this makes the screen always to be updated and then fill with black draw the map check if the users is quitting the window and okay this loop will refresh the screen practically ok 
Okay, let's see what happens. Now, let's um, let's do it. Let's delete this one. We don't need it. Uh, this one here. Let's put it here. You will find this code on the on my on my blog pythonprogramming.televisa.org So here is our window and now it's, comp it's always refreshed. If we close this it will probably close. If we do not use this um, this event type equal quit loop equal zero you will see that it will be hard let me delete also this it will be hard to close the window you know you see that there is just something that the not works and I have forced the windows to close okay if instead I uncomment this you see that all works properly now let me see if I comment this okay you see that nothing happens because nothing is moving on the screen still there is no need to, to use this let me see if I don't use screen update if I don't screen use screen update this will not put the tiles on it we will just have a blank blank screen I can also make this and nothing happens it's just cleaning the screen with that we need we need this to to see the tiles to update and split the screen practically okay so this is um, the first part of the video where we are going to analyze one single aspect of the of the game the next thing that we are going to see um, is how we will prepare this video this uh, this map uh, how we will uh, make the computer understand that these walls are um, something that the player cannot um, pass by so these are obstacles for the player that he cannot uh, pass through so how can we make it this is the what we will explain in the next video thank you